Hello, beautiful collective. What it do? How y'all doing on this lovely Friday? It's Friday the 13th, y'all. Um, It's January 13th on a Friday. That seems very significant. Somebody here could have been born on Friday the 13th or Friday the 13th is very significant. Something may happen. Um, Something very significant may happen today. You could also meet your soulmate today, whatever time that you see this. I got the two of cups with happiness here. I'm here online here. You could be doing online dating at this time. I feel like something is going to be ordained here. Somebody could also be walking away from a, a marriage with somebody that they got kids with. Yeah. I'm going through some sort of um legal something. But let's see. I see you celebrating something. This could be with friends. You're being recognized for something. Being put on a pedestal. Okay. But let's see. I ain't got no channel messages, y'all. We just finna get right into it. I just want to say that I love y'all so much. Sorry I've been in my age. Spiritual war is real, okay? There are a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that you really don't know, so never judge a book by its cover and never give um somebody too much shine because they um have room for mistakes you literally got the king of swords in reverse let's talk about a selfish energy all right let's talk about someone who's very ruthless this person could be very devious okay this could also be an energy of being overly cautious, so it's causing some sort of stagnancy because it's like causing anxiety. There's something here that either is about to be exposed with the high priestess. I feel like this here is a secret or, is, or it was a secret or a secret is about to be exposed here. Because you got truth in reverse, so somebody obviously lied about something. This could also be something that you lied about. This could be someone here lying and they feel bad about something they lied about. So they're about to expose something. Or you could be a high priestess and someone is using deceiving tactics to come in. Like you could definitely be someone who may have a YouTube channel or a tarot channel or something like that. This person could see that you're very happy. And I just see the energy of destruction here. Somebody's coming in fast with a lie or I don't know. It's like they yeah i'm getting the energy of it's like yeah look you got the page of cups the page of pentacles and the star card which let me know you're doing something online or you're doing something on center stage i saw the six of wands earlier when i said recognition and somebody here wants you to lose something or somebody wants something to end for you you got the ten of swords with the five of cups let's talk about lost griefs and endings but it's all over a lie. I feel like somebody is trying to set up something. I'm getting set up vibes here. This could even be energy where somebody tried to slow something down for you. This could be somebody that you love. Though you feel, yeah, literally that you love. But it came out like this. So I'm hearing love lost. I'm hearing no love lost. So it's like you love this person from a distance or there's a need to. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You could be embodying these energies. I also have, is this Libra here? Yeah, the King of Swords. Is Libra or Libra's opposite, which is, let me see. Let me look it up. Libra opposite. Libra opposite, the opposite of Libra energy would be to, excuse me, would be an imbalance. So I definitely get the energy of somebody or something about an imbalance in emotions. It's like somebody just wants to, Libra's opposite sign is Aries, which represents you. Okay, so Libra represent we, Aries represent me. So, Aries will be the first house energy, which talk about your self-image and self. And then you got we. So, it's almost giving the energy of like you versus the world. Or you feeling like you versus the world. Or after this is exposed, I'm just getting the energy of like an emotional an emotional imbalance here. You Somebody could also be on a cycle as well. Or something about a cycle here. Yeah, you got the seven of cups. They talk about illusions and all you got eight cups. I see spirit is telling somebody here, you or somebody in your energy, 
to walk away from this energy of deception, lies, control. Somebody wants to have control over someone's emotion, but they're they're using manipulation tactics and they're using energies of man, like a like anything that'll put you in an elusive state. This could also be someone on drugs or using drugs, or this is like when someone gets heavily sedated, they get very emotional or they get very um emotionally ruthless. Yeah, you got the Queen of Swords here with the King of Swords in reverse. This is opposite. They're not even upright. It usually talk about a couple. With one in reverse and one upright, this definitely talk about an imbalance. An imbalance here. I feel like somebody here could be taking care of somebody financially. Whoever you is, you need to walk away from this shit. For real, though. We don't got time for people trying us. Literally. Spirit is telling you to focus on you. Focus on building. Focus on quality. This some this is someone who doesn't focus on quality. Whoever this is, they focus on quantity. This could be somebody who just sleep around and play with people's heart with the ace of cups. They give people illusions that they want to start a new beginning, but they actually looking for new beginnings in other places. It's like they always looking for new beginnings. This is also the energy of procrastination. There's a need for somebody to choose themselves or choose what's best for them. This could even be you between two people. All right, yeah. You're getting a lot of harsh cards out here. I'm hearing a lot of air. You could be an air sign. Definitely, you started out with air. Something about a fire sign is very significant as well. But this Ten of Swords talk about backstabbing, betrayal. It talk about curses. It talk about a dead end. It talk about you severing ties and saying goodbyes, putting a nail in the coffin and letting things go, walking away from this elusive energy. You could even be called to um, let go of certain addictions that's put you in an elusive state, whether this is like a physical drug or a mental drug, like you being addicted to a person or you being addicted to a way of thinking or a way of doing things that are causing ruin. There's something here that needs to end. All right, you got the Ace of Cups. This is the happiest card literally out here. I'm not saying the Seven of Cups is a bad card, but it's just full of dreaming and fantasy and elusive energy. It talk about wishful thinking and wishing something was better. You need to stop wishing that whatever this is was better and look at the signs and walk away to that better. Maybe your better is not with this energy. Maybe your better is not with this person. Like, come on now, babe. Come on, let's get it together. Let's get it together, you guys. Listen. Should I say anything else? I mean, it's a disservice for me to even say that. Because it ain't like everybody who watch tarot know exactly what these tarot cards mean. But this literally talk about you walking away from these eight cups that's right here. You started out with eight cups. You ended with the eight cups. And not a person that got the red on, which talk about power, strong, walking away from something that they thought once fulfilled them that no longer fulfilled them that actually just keep them crying okay let's talk about abandonment needing to abandon something or dealing with abandonment issues because this could be the reason why you're holding on to whatever this is there's a need for you to use your power and your strength just know you're walking away until i'm here it's judgment season this is what spirit is asking you to walk into. Judgment talk about uh, an awakening. It talk about decisive energy. It talk about a very strong energy. I'm hearing Archangel Gabriel or the angels are um bringing something or bringing something in for you. This could also be this could also talk about forgiveness. So this is you forgiving yourself. This is you forgiving others. This is also you realizing what role you played in your own demise like okay you was with this person but what did you allow forgive yourself for allowing that especially once you realize your strength you're gonna be like damn that's what i stood for that's what i let go down i'm telling y'all it's amazing it's an amazing feeling when you can project your life and look at your past and see how far you've came some of you guys are being um led to right or some of you guys do write, write or there's a need to, for you to reflect on something you wrote before okay but then i talk then i said something about that nine of swords energy and you feeling defeated feeling anxiety 
there's a need for you to you to use your foresight because you could definitely be waiting on the energy to get right when spirit is waiting on you to get right it's like you waiting on somebody else and god waiting on you how that work god is ready to bring this change in for you but it's in the matter of you walking away and realizing your power walking in in that power definitely trying to get your root chakra aligned because this talk about somebody in red and orange which is the solar places in the root chakra your money and your creativity being dead here so there could definitely be a creative block because of these illusions or this energy that you in that you need to walk away from and abandon here this talk about you talk taking a self-analysis okay escapism could be very prevalent here so somebody could be escaping something it's like somebody here could definitely be running from their problems instead of just sitting in them this could be you or another person whoever it is you need to work it out because in order for you to show up in this world as your authentic self you have to be authentic with yourself okay keep that in mind what else spirit i see the sun card so happy days are you know definitely and grasp, look, ten of cups, happy days, walking into your happiness, sailing into your happiness. Could this could even be you traveling, feeling free? Okay, yeah, this walking away from this power. This could even be like religion or something that feels very binding. As above, so below. All of these people is doing that sign. All three of these people here, all three of these energies here. You got fifteen. 54 could be very significant. Look that, that year up. I don't know. 2015, 2005, 2004 could be very significant. Taurus, Aries, Capricorn. Two earth signs and a fire sign could be very significant. I got Leo. I'm hearing Sagittarius. Then I got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Double Pisces here. You could have Pisces highly expected in your chart. This talk about a lot of power or a lot of control. It's like at one point someone else could have had control over your mind, but it's not it's like you taking back control over yourself. Independence is very significant here. Yeah, the devil card do talk about addiction. So, like I said, that elusive state. Somebody here could also, um, something about materialism, materialistic, okay, violence, assault. This could be, like, someone abusing their power as well. Yeah, there's a need for you to stand up for yourself. You got to stand your ground, the seven of wands. You could also block someone or spirit is blocking someone from coming in. Or it's like if you are walking away from these things and you actually walking in your power and trying to take your power back, spirit is in the background, your ancestors, your angels. God is in the background blocking some sort of energy away from you. Or there was someone around you trying to block this energy, block you from, yeah, walking in your power. I feel like whoever you are, you feel better when you're giving. Something about giving is very significant. But you could have been at a time of budgeting and needing to hold back on your emotional um, aspect. Yeah, and tap more into your intuition. So it's like cups represent water, cups represent emotion, cups represent the intuition aspect of us because you know pisces water signs are, are are definitely highly intuitive if you have water placements in certain charts you're definitely highly intuitive so they talk about intuition but it was more so you diving into your intuition and that side of the water aspect versus you being so emotional and not using it in the creative aspect using it in the aspect of it's like it's a self-sabotaging behavior giving your heart giving your your emotions pouring into any and everything this could be something like you just didn't know wasn't right you could have been taught that yeah something you learned from childhood here well yeah something you learned from your family something you inherited so it's like now you're taking those two coins things that you can learn from these 10 coins in this family lineage and working it and making it your own instead of taking all these heavy burdens and everything that came with this bloodline this is you working through the funk here yeah foresight again perspective here 
temperance, peace, and balance. The lovers card also talk about choices and a and a kindred spirit or a balance. I'm also getting to like somebody could be connecting with their soulmate in the fifth dimension. So you haven't met this person yet, but you're manifesting this person right now. Spirit is calling you to focus more so on your creativity, your magic, your queen of pentacles energy, where you can bring in prosperity and wealth and for yourself you know what i'm saying magician energy damn you got a lot of major arcanas boom somebody could definitely be a tarot reader here with this page of pentacles and the star card with the magician or you could just be someone that sees even if you aren't a tarot reader you could just be somebody that see okay there's a definitely a need for you to focus on freedom at this time and your original self adventure and traveling as well the full card could also talk about a lack of commitment. So keep in mind, just stay consistent and persistent with whatever you're doing. Keep this balance, okay? You started out real rocky, and it's like the energy of deception and lies. And this could, I definitely feel like this is the energy you're walking away from. If not somebody romantically involved, this is a parent here. And I get more so like a father figure type of parent, especially with the emperor card. Yeah. I feel like this is someone who definitely have want to want to have a lot of control in your life with the magician card. But spirit is calling you to take that power. If this is your parent, just know they did what they had to do. But now you're wise enough with this high priest, and now you know and you could be led by God. You no longer need earthly guidance per se i'm not saying spirit don't use people on earth or things on earth to guide you what i'm saying is you're being led by the spirit no matter who it come through where it come from and trusting that okay discovering your truth beautiful energy it, it's not like i said it started a little <laughs> but it ended up pretty fucking good i really love this for whoever this is i see you getting over a lot of things working through a lot of things i just want to say that i appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart all right i was just chilling just then my bad i was just trying to make sure that was it okay but i love you guys with everything in me i really appreciate everything y'all do y'all energetic donations y'all physical donations everything the comments are welcome you know if you knew i'm sorry i didn't introduce myself my name is shay if you're returning what the fuck it do boo but anyways i love y'all and i'll see y'all on my next video peace